I'm going to uh, be doing a quick unwrapping and assembly of the new Space One FPV Aurora 5 inch stretch X racing frame. Very nicely packaged. So, I'm going to take this thing out and see what we got. Pretty impressed with the packaging. Nice rubberized strap. A bunch of uh, stickers. The hardware with some looks like neoprene landing pads, but looking at this frame looking like a little bit wide for these arms. I don't know where you'd put them, but we'll look at that more. Get them out. And another set of stickers. Really big sticker this one is. They probably want you to put this on your car or something. Alright, set those stickers aside. Alright, uh, let's get this frame out of the bag. Pretty good. Don't worry, I'll speed this up. tell that those guys over at Space One take their packaging very seriously. That wasn't easy to get out. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, looks like a nice finish on the carbon, chamfered edges all the way around. Always makes for a really neat looking frame. And it is uh, 5.5 millimeters, check that. Yep, 5.5 millimeters I'm getting. Now, still a little bit confused on what they want us to do with these landing pads. I'm assuming we're gonna do a battery on top, have these on the bottom. those to go. Maybe... Oh. It wouldn't work very well with the motor screws in there, but oh well, we don't need to use them. Alright, this looks like a pretty straightforward design. This looks like some Hardware for your camera mounting. Has four little clear um, washers and a couple of set of hardware to mount your camera. But we'll set that aside because we're not gonna, this is just gonna be a frame assembly video. All right, let's see here. I'm going to assume These are all about the same. If 
they are, then that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, these are all the same size, so. All right, I guess you'd wanna maybe proudly display that logo, so I guess it doesn't matter which way you assemble the frame. I think I'm gonna do it this way, so. So. Let's get the standoffs on. Four standoffs. can see this so look how thin the wall is right here on this side compared to this side this looks like about two millimeters and this looks like it's about one millimeter so I don't know if that's well not sure that's a big deal if that's on all of them or just mine I'd be the lucky one. So. it's pretty fragile as far as the top plate and the camera mount goes. Definitely not set up for a normal uh, HS 1177 or 1195 camera, obviously. That looks like it's about four millimeters away from fitting in there. So, let's see what it looks like with this. Oh my 
micro camera. Yeah, so it, it looks like it was meant to be set up with a micro run cam or fox ear or a mini run cam or fox ear mini. So, looking at this frame right now, looks like there's plenty of room for a gigantic stack in here. These are probably 35 millimeters. Yeah, so you got 35 millimeters to work with for your stack. The only thing that I'm a little concerned about, like I said, was if you guys can see that. Here, let me hold it up. There's about two millimeters here, and it looks like there's about one millimeter here. I'm pretty certain that in a um, an impact like this. This thing's gonna break right away. Actually, it seems pretty flimsy of me just flexing it right now in my hand. But, uh, I don't know. I'll have to give it a shot. Uh, I'll weigh this thing real fast. Sixty-nine grams, probably seventy if you add one of the VTX mounts. Nope. Yep. There we go. Seventy grams. So overall, it looks nice. Plenty of room. You got to go with a micro or a mini camera to fit in here. And one thing is, is the two millimeter top plate. Seems like it will probably be good enough in a crash, but this is, like I said, this camera mount is pretty flimsy. But the only way to test that is to actually take it out and fly it and crash it into stuff. So, anyways, uh, I'll build this and I'll put up another video. Alright, thanks for watching.